Where natural concealment is inadequate, artificial measures must be used. This camouflage set for divisional artillery was developed by the camouflage section of the engineer board to provide a more versatile and more quickly erected unit than the present equipment affords. It can easily be erected by a crew of six privates and one non-commissioned officer. One canvas carrying bag contains a main frame of flexible wire cable to support the main net. necessary guy lines to hold this frame tight and erect, and the pre-garnished main net, 29 feet square. The guy wires are provided with turnbuckles to tighten the frame. This other bag contains two frames for the 15 by 30 foot extension net. The necessary guy lines for these extension nets and the two pre-garnished extension nets themselves. This diagram illustrates the construction of the wire framework and shows that the extension nets may be erected on either side of the main net or at the rear, as circumstances dictate. The first step in erection is to spread the main frame out on the ground at the site of a gun position. With the embrasure release, which is in the center of one side, pointing in the direction of fire. Next, the men secure the guy lines. These guy lines are attached to the main frame by inserting the toggles on the guy wires in the, through the double eye connector on the main frame. Next, the poles are distributed. The positions of the stakes are located by laying one pole and one stake end to end, with the inner end of the pole touching the main frame. This distance is approximately 9 feet 8 inches and determines the proper location for the placing of the steel stakes. A 
a metal driving cap is provided to prevent damage to the steel stakes in driving. When all the stakes have been driven in place, the double eye connectors are engaged in the slots at the tops of the poles, and the frame is erected to check for even tightness of the cables. The frame is then lowered, and the main net is spread out and attached. At this point, care must be taken to see that the slit or embrasure in the net is on the same side as the embrasure release in the frame. Snap hooks on the corners and edge ropes of the net are provided for quick attachment to the wire cable. When attached, the net and framework are now erected. And the net is tightened by adjusting the turnbuckles on the guy cables. The embrasure in the net is laced closed with a circus tie lacing which will open completely with a pull on the end of the lacing rope. This embrasure release device permits quick release and easy retightening of the edge cable. Adjustments to compensate for stretching of the net are made in this simple manner. When the net has been erected, a field piece is brought to the concealed position. It is manhandled under the net and prepared for action. The process of rolling the piece into position and bringing in the necessary accessory equipment and ammunition is apt to cause revealing tracks between the net concealed position and the existing roadway. In this case, the tracks so made may be concealed by erecting one of the 15 by 30 foot extension nets at the rear of the position. The other 15 by 30 foot extension net is being erected at the side and will thus provide concealment for the gun crew when the piece is not actually in operation. Although during this demonstration no slip trench was dug, this net would normally cover one and thus provide additional protection for the gun crew. The process of erection of the extension net is similar to the erection of the main net. The one edge of the extension net is hooked on to the edge of the main frame and the other edges are attached to the extension frame. Normal care must be taken to see that the net does not become caught on the stakes of the main net.
as this might tear or injure the fabric. When the net has been erected, it is tightened in the same way by adjusting the turnbuckle. When the gun is to perform a fire mission, the embrasure release is tripped and the chain lacing in the net is opened. The gun is then loaded and it can fire freely without damage to the camouflage net.